Guys, all right, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you. It's a brief, simple, short tutorial as to how you can go ahead and build a chat bot in high level. Now, if it's your first time on this channel, just do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing first to get started is you're going to need your high level account. If you don't have a go high level account, click the link in the description to go ahead and um, get your um, get your free 14 day trial. Also, everything we're going to go ahead and cover here, I took the privilege of making you a PDF version. Just go in the link in the description, click in the link in the description, and you'll be able to get access to that uh, PDF. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started into this. So what you're going to need right now, you're going to need to nap, you're going to need three things, you're going to need a your open AI API key, you're also going to need a Zapier account or Pabli, and then you're also going to need your high level, as I mentioned earlier. So what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and navigate to the automations tab, workflows, whatever it is in your account. And you want to go ahead and click create a new workflow. Okay, you're going to click create a new workflow. And you're going to go ahead and um, select start from scratch. Okay, start from scratch. Now, I'm not going to go too much into how I was able to set it up. But I wanted to kind of give you just like a brief overview. So what you're going to do is click start from scratch and then obviously go ahead and click continue. Now I'm going to show you what I did here real quick and then we'll go ahead and proceed from there. Um, so here in automations, this is, this is what the workflow is going to look like. And right there. So you're going to need a, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much set Oh, and one more thing as well you're going to need is you're going to need a custom field, a custom field. So first thing first is this is what the workflow looks like. Um, so basically, you're going to need a trigger for contact change, customer replied, and um, you're going to need an if else condition. And then obviously, then you're going to need a webhook and you're going to need an SMS. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of get started here. So what you want to do is obviously you're going to create a new workflow. But another thing that you need, we're just going to follow the checklist here. So Step one, all right, now we're diving into the checklist. Step one of the checklist is create a custom field, okay? Uh, so you're gonna proceed to settings, all right? We're gonna proceed to settings and we're going to navigate down to right here, custom field. Okay, and we're gonna add a new field and your field, make sure you select multi-line, all right? Click next and then you wanna go ahead and select the field name, should be chat GBT. You can call it whatever you want to call it, chat, GPT, response. I already have one created, so I'm not going to do it. And then just go ahead and save. Okay, that's step one, create your custom field. Okay. And then step two is create the workflow. So we're going to come back in here, go back to our automations, and we're going to go ahead and create our workflow. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and show you right here, back to the workflow we created. So step two is we're going to need to create the workflow. All right. So we've started our workflow. I named the workflow chat GPT workflow. All right. Now in the checklist, it says proceed to automations tab, create a new workflow from scratch. All right. Step three, add workflow trigger. Okay. Add workflow trigger. Okay. So your workflow triggers contact change or customer replied. And then this is how you set up the contact change. So to set up the contact change, all you're going to do is this is how you set it up. You click add workflow trigger. And then just type contact changed, okay? And then add filter. And then you wanna go ahead and say, um, let's see what it says here, contact change. And then the filter is chat GPT response has changed, okay? So you're going to come back here, the custom field we created, chat GPT response has changed, okay? And then save the trigger, all right? And then for the customer reply trigger, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and, you know, Choose the reply channel. The reply channel can be messenger. The reply channel can be SMS. The reply channel can be email. Uh, for this, this is SMS and then phone number, whatever the phone number is, and then save your trigger. Okay. Now that's it. Done. So we've created our response. We've created our reply channel. And then step four is select action, which is an if else action. Um, set up your branches. Customer replied. So this is how we set up the customer replied. And this is how we set up the contact change. All right. So we click here and select if else right here conditions and workflow okay and then you want to go in and go to customer replied all right and then when you're setting up your uh, trigger is going to look like this customer replied workflow trigger is customer replied simple right all you have to do is just navigate click there workflow trigger is workflow trigger is contact change right 
and then save trigger. So you have your two um, if else conditions here. The next thing you need to do is you're going to need a webhook. All right, this is where Zapier comes in. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up to Zapier. All right, you're going to click create a new workflow. All right, let's just go ahead and go back in here. Okay, you're going to click create a new zap. All right, when you click create a new zap, what you're going to now do is you're going to type in, um, you're going to search for webhook. Okay, this is a premium feature, which means you have to be on a paid plan. You can do the same thing for Pabli as well. And then event, as we see here, it says the next thing it says is, um, obviously we're setting up our SMS and email, but actually let's go back in here really quickly. So it says customer change, contact change, and then SMS, just before we go back into Zapier guys, let's kind of rewind a little bit. I'm going based off the checklist. Um, contact change, and then you, what you wanna do is you wanna send an SMS, and the SMS you wanna send, you wanna to go to custom values. So this is how I got ChatGPT response. Go to custom values, contact, scroll down to custom fields, and then right here, chat GPT response, click that, and then boom, you have your um, setup right here. All right, and then save action, and save. And then that's contact change, and then the next section here is customer replied, which will be the webhook. All right, so we're just going off the checklist. We've done that. Then step six is in Zapier. It says, uh, what you want to do is in Zapier, select create new zap, choose webhook as your trigger, create new webhook. And then um, what you want to do is want to come up here, click catch hook, continue. You want to go ahead and what you're going to do is, is going to then give you this um, URL. What you want to do is you want to copy this URL. I've already done this step, so I'm going to uh, exit this. You want to copy that URL, come in here to webhook, create a new webhook. How you create a webhook is just click on the plus icon, type webhook and then paste the URL here as a post request, okay? And then save action, all right? Once you do, it's all pretty much set up. You set up your SMS, you set up your webhook, save it. And then what you wanna do now is the next step is send a data to your webhook, all right, right here. And let's make this a, send a data to your webhook by, uh, let me see, webhook, webhook. Send data to your webhook by texting the number that you chose once once you do, you should receive data back that you will use to customize your open um, AI. All right, so let me show you um, what that, uh, an example here. I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a text, uh, uh, um, like a, a dummy text message, and I want you to kind of pay attention to what it's going to do here as soon as my browser is loaded. Let's go back to workflows. And let's go back here to conversations. And all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, actually it's going to blur that out. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send myself an SMS, uh, a message now. All right, now look at that. Good morning. All right, put the phone away. Good morning, how are you? Boom, we had a chatbot, it responded automatically, right? So now we have the response that came in automatically. So we've sent that SMS and then what you're going to do, once you send the, the, the message, you will see here um, where it says, um, once you sent your SMS, you'd have, you know, um, right here, let's actually just go ahead and click edit zap. Uh, once you've sent your SMS, you tested it, it's going to respond back with the data. And then once you have the data right here, you can go ahead and use that data to feed into the prompt, okay? So the next step you need to do here per the checklist is setting up your OpenAI. Once the data has been received, choose OpenAI in action number two, all right? So what you wanna do is just come up here, search, click on the plus icon, and then search OpenAI, and this pops up, okay? And, but we're not doing that. So let's remove this step, delete, 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 yes. So what you wanna do is you wanna select open AI as your action right here, and you wanna choose event send prompt, okay? When you click send prompt, you wanna go ahead and pick your open AI API key. Now, how do you find your open AI API key? It's very simple. You wanna to go to platform.openai.com, okay? Once again, that URL is platform, 
okay? Dot openai dot com okay that's where you want to go to you want to go to platform.openai.com link is going to be in the description guys platform.openai.com and then action what you want to do here in um uh, to get your api key once you've gone on there is you want to go over here you it's going to look like this where you create your account you want to navigate here to the top right portion click on that and then click view api keys and then here, you just go ahead and create your new secret key. When you create your secret key, just remember, it will only reveal this key to you once. So be sure to save the key. And then you're going to come back here once you create the key and add the key here in your configuration. And then this should pop up. And then as far as the models go, there's Text DaVinci 3, there's different models. I typically just say just leave it as is, as the Text DaVinci 3. And then navigate here. When you navigate here, it's going to give you an... Um, uh, the option and then you just want to click on this plus icon and then you want to navigate to uh, show all options and then you want to go ahead and select you know the uh, what you call it message body all right right here hello there okay that's the message that you sent initially to the mess the number all right and once you selected that number that there leave everything as it is and then just click continue and then obviously just go ahead and test action and then uh, chat GPT will respond when ChatGPT responds, click on the plus icon again, and then now select lead connector. Now, for the lead connector, you're going to need your lead connector API keys. Okay, you're going to need your API key for lead connector. We're in step uh, number 14, lead connector. To find your API key for lead connector, what you need to do is you need to go to your sub account or whatever your account is um, right here. You wanna to go to your account, you wanna to go to settings, and then you wanna go over to business profile and then scroll to the bottom here, right here, okay? Right here, this right here, all right? And you wanna come over here and you wanna go ahead and click copy key. And when you copy the key, you can come back into Zapier and connect your account, all right? So we've connected our account. Um, and then what you wanna do in set event is add or update contact, okay? Add or update contact, and then click continue, continue. And then action is all you need to do in action is just scroll down here to the portion where it says phone number right here where it says phone number. And then all you have to do is navigate to the portion here that says phone number. And then right there, input the phone number um, um, of the of your your number that you texted chat GPT with. Right. Because remember, you didn't give it an email. We're assuming that the, the user never or the the inbound never provided you with a name or an email, but they did provide you the phone number. So it's like phone number. And then what you want to do is navigate to that custom field that you created. It's chat GPT response. And then what you want to do is click here and then the result of step two and just navigate down to the bottom here and then choose choices text. This is chat GPT's response. Okay. And then the way I have it written down here is, um, hi there, how can I help you? And then this is what's going to be posted in the message and then click continue. And then you want to see success once it's done, publish your zap, and that's it. Now, if you want to, you know, if you if I'm talking too fast or you want to kind of go ahead and go to the step by step, including the images of how it should look like, go ahead and click the link in the description and go ahead and download this free checklist for how you can go ahead and build your high level chatbot. Just an FYI, the chatbot is not um make sure to play around with it and train it for the most part. You can train your um your AI with your responses, but uh, we're working on right now how to set it up where you can, you know, it can keep and retain past responses, but this chat bot is just very, very mundane and simple for like giving simple answers to questions. That's pretty much it for building your chat bot in high level. I'll go ahead and check it out, leave a like, leave a sub, and uh, obviously I'll see you guys in a future video. Once again, just go ahead and claim your checklist by going ahead and clicking the link in the description to download your free checklist today. All right, that's all.